Hi everyone! So, I have another book today, another book review, yay! It's called The Fruits of Her Hands by Michelle Cameron. The story of Shira of Ashkenaz. Now, um, this is a story. It's historical fiction, obviously, you know. Historical fiction. It is um, about a woman, obviously, named Shira. Um, she is... This is, this is during the... Uh, the 12th, the late 12th century, early 13th century, um, the rise of anti-Semitism in Europe. It's a very nice book. Shira is, um, she starts out as a, she starts out as a 10 year old in the beginning of the book. And um, yeah, it's just her life through how anti-Semitism works and she gets married in it. It's, I actually, I didn't, I read the synopsis of the book, but I didn't understand it was about, there. it's about this, it's actually about the historical rabbi named, Be I believe, I forget, this Rabbi Mayor Ben Bahuk. Um, he, and he, he, um, he, she marries him and, um, it's actually about him, but like props to the, um, it, it's, it's, well, it, it incorporates him because she's married to him and like props to the, the, the author for getting us involved in like for having a main character that we want to, that we want that, and she gets us to focus on her, but it's really actually about another historical figure. So it makes us, obviously we don't know, we, she, she may, she, he was married, but she made, but the, the, the author of the book is also, is, her name is Michelle Cameron, but she made the wife, she doesn't know anything about the wife, but so she made the wife, the wife's character up, and it propped her because she made us like the wife from the start. They made her like Shira from the start, and we grew up with her, so we know so much about her that we're rooting for her. And then this uh, the historical figure that we know, um, that is known in historic history comes in and then so since we know about her we were rooting for her he comes in and he's married to her so and they're both they're technically both a team and it's just like so then it makes us love them even more and i just love how she portrayed the michelle cameron portrayed the shira and um ben mahook and um I, I, I saw I, I read a little bit about her at the end of a, a little bit about the author Michelle Cameron and it was just um and it's nice because like her husband by the way she um she's actually real she's actually she actually found out that she's actually related to um Rabbi Ben so that was pretty good. So that was pretty cool. It was like you're really writing a book about your great grandfather. I don't know how many greats back. <laughs> That's a lot of greats. Um, so what I really found interesting was that her her husband helped her do research on this about this book. So it's like a team writing. And her, her, Shira and Ben were, were also a team because she wrote for him. She would help write for him when his hand was messed up, when his hand got messed up. Um, I think it was from, he was trying to fight, stop a brawl that was happening in front of his house. And so I, I just thought that was like, that's a really good thing, but I don't know, maybe I'm reading in way too much into this. 
Um, but I just really like the book. Um, again, it's historical fiction. I I like history and fic and also just to create something that with it to create something that's not real within something that is real that that's that's talent i feel like that's talent and that's why fiction books are okay but at the same time i want a little more depth to them and that's why i like historical fiction i'm not saying that i don't like fiction is that i but my preference is just fix is um historical fiction that's why and um so and also the good thing is that there's a glossary of jewish words in the back so like when you're when you're first reading the book you're just like i don't know what that is and sometimes they clarify what the word is after a little bit after in the the text but you're just like i don't know what that is and then there's a glossary like um, it says, in the title it says, The Fruits of Her Hands, The Story of Shira of Ashkenaz. What is Ashkenaz? Ashkenaz is basically, actually, you know what? I was going to tell you, but let me just look it up in the thing. I know what it is, but like I'll just give you the exact detail of it, the, the exact definition of what Ashkenaz is. Ashkenaz, originally a term to describe the regions of medieval France and Germany where Jews lived, eventually this came to encompass all of Western Europe. So um yeah that's that's um that's it. I really really like this book. It's it, the dialogue is very entertaining and um it's it it just go it like you feel the heartache like when they burn um when the Christians burn parts of the book for, um, some of the books that they studied, not the actual Torah, not the Torah, because again, the Torah is basically the Old Testament, but it, it's a little different because Mon, Mo, it's a little different because I, I, I don't really know the Torah, so obviously, um, but um, yeah, so it, it like they were burnt. It's it's a it's a book to help describe to help them understand the Torah and they were burning it and you just felt the heartache that all the Jews felt when they were when they witnessed the book burning and um so and like you just witness how many Jews were martyrs for stuff like that and it's just like they they took their religion to heart it was it was it was actually it was pretty incredible to to hear that to to go to go through how much pain how much love they had for their religion and it was amazing even and it was it um, Shira had love for some of the Christians that, that she she um that she encountered like she didn't hate them but she just hated that they didn't understand and it shows how much how much fear stuff how much how it just shows how much the topic of fear for the unknown create so much hate in your heart and it just in it sucks and it really it's terrible and it's like that barrier just can isolate so uh, a people that's actually a very good people 
and it's just it's 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 just not I don't know the word but it's it's not right and it's uh it 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 just takes the fear of the hate that that the fear of the unknown creates can take you down alongside your other one because at one of these I it may not happen right at that moment but it will take you down as well as when you try to take down your enemies. Um, there's this, I, I forget his name. The 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 main protagonist, the main antagonist is his name is Nicholas Donan, and oddly enough, he was he was studying to he was studying and he. He, and he said he was going to, um, I don't, I forget what the word, but he was going to make Jewish history. And um, he actually wanted to marry Shira. Um, this is, he, he asked her father when he, she was like 10 years old and she said no. Because he is, he was, he was a troublemaker. He was starting up debates that everyone else didn't like and um I mean yeah it's it's okay to have opinions that other people dislike because and you're you're starting a conversation because and you're you're trying to get other from other people's point of view you're trying to get people's different point of view and like why do you think this but he he was all he was kind he was also rude he was just like he just didn't want to listen to anyone else basically he was just saying this is what i think and this is what you should think as well so and um he and he eventually he was excommunicated and he eventually he was excommunicated and after all those years he became a Franciscan monk now that's that's um a Christian monk and he got he got the queen to uh, the queen of France um I forget the name I think it was Louis the 14th mother to listen to what's going on like to listen that the that these Jewish people are traitors, and I know that I know Jewish people better than anyone because I used to be a Jew, and these people hate Christ. They are making fun of him, and then, and it just it 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 was it was um really hard to to read it because it's just like. Well, you guys don't need to treat them like this. Even though you don't know this stuff, he would. He obviously he was doing this for Nicholas Stonin. If I didn't mention his name before, I mentioned the name now. He was doing this for revenge because he got excommunicated. But obviously, he was doing this because also he was doing this because Shira. He was trying to do this to get Shira's attention because Shira, because he he remembered when Shira said I'm not gonna marry you and so and he he even said to her I told you I was gonna make a good uh, an impression not necessarily he I told you I was gonna make an impression on Jewish history and yes and he did make an impression on Jewish history but at the at the end of the book he does get his comeuppance because like I said before, fear of the unknown and just or just hate in your heart just for no reason, just because something didn't go your way, just brings you down. Not it doesn't just bring your enemies the ones that you want to hurt down. It brings you down as well. He got his come Nicholas Stone and got his come up and he died. I think cause also cause he, he challenged the church as 
the, the Christian church as well. So I think he got, he was executed. I believe he was executed for that or something. I don't really remember. Because I'm actually already on a new book right now. And, and um, I just really like the whole book. And uh, I can't, I can't imagine. There's like, it's, there is still anti-Semitism today. I just can't imagine the stuff that they go through, and it's just you. It's just you have to remember people like everyone goes through stuff every day, no matter what who you are, and um, and it's just like maybe someone's mad because something happened to them i'm not giving them an excuse to like take it out on you but just like when you're just like when you're walking past someone and then and they hit you like they bump into you and they just shrug and and you say why don't you ask them why didn't you just say excuse me and they just shrug it up maybe something happened i'm not giving that other person who who hit you to an excuse but i'm just saying that people go through things all the time and um that's all i have to say and again i'm already on another book so i kind of i should have got to this book review sooner but i didn't but i'm already on another book um due to this quarantine i'm gonna probably read a lot of books I'm probably going to reread books too because I have a lot of books that I haven't read in a long time too. So, And also I went to the bookstore. My library has a bookstore, a used bookstore. So I got a bunch of books there too. So I haven't read those books. So I'm kind of glad I went there too. But at, at the same time, books aren't everything. I can go crazy. It's only been my the coronavirus has been like happening for like what three weeks. People have started going to quarantine three like three weeks ago. My job just now, like a few days, like four days ago, well five technically if you count this thing, finally got the memo. Maybe we should close until like next month. And I was like, my, but my mom is like over 60. So she's susceptible. If I don't, if I get it and I don't have any symptoms, my mom could get it. And that would be even, that would be terrible. So, um, I don't know what to do. I've tried to take up, taking up jogging. I'm, I'm trying to exercise more because obviously nothing I have nothing to do so that's a thing but um if you want to know what book I'm reading right now I'm reading Founding Brothers by Joseph Ellis I believe his name is um it's about basically Aaron Burr James Madison Alexander Hamilton those other guys and um i like the book so far so if you oh by the way this book was made in 2009 i always find books that were made like years after but um it is a really good read especially if you want to know more about anti like history of jewish people and stuff like that and it also gives, um, it also has a glossary of the books that um, author Cameron read to to get some insight on like the female perspective of women in medieval medieval times or Jewish in Jewish women in medieval times. So I'm planning. I want to read those books as well. So we'll see if. I um, can get them. I don't want to order them because obviously this is quarantine and 
ordering a book and having it delivered, that's just, first of all, you, you, I'm going to have to like spray it down first and leave it outside for a minute for it to, before I take it inside. And second of all, I don't want to, I want, I don't, that's not a priority that the drivers have. So I don't want to, because you need to think twice about ordering something that you can't get at the store sometimes, especially during these times, because like there are actually, there are actually people who actually need to order something like order groceries and then get it shipped. And so around this time when there's quarantine, where resources aren't as available i'm not going to try and do that because drivers already have enough to do and they're one of the essential workers that are still working like grocery stores um gas stations bankers probably some bankers and those people and even waste management those those People are still working. Can you believe being in quarantine and being on waste management? You're going to have to be extra cautious when, when with that. I feel like you're going to have to be extra cautious dealing with someone's trash while there's a global pandemic going on. So just just be just, just like if you go to the store and you're just you're not and you're not being patient and you're like you're getting aggravated. Just just think. These people have a, see a bunch of people. These people in the grocery, like in the grocery store, like these people see a bunch of people every day. A bunch of scared people who these those kind of people t always take everything out of control, and like they're always like running because this is the the apocalypse when it's actually not the apocalypse. I mean. Like, it's not, it's not, it's like, yeah, it's going to kill you. But if you, if you, if you know how to, to deal with it, if you know how to be able to deal with it and stay cautious, you might not, you may not die from it. And they're, they've just seen so many people and they have to do, it's just like, be, be a little bit nice to them. Consider like, they might want to be at home trying to not get contaminated, but they're they're doing their job. They're right now they they're the essential worker, and they're they're trying as much as they can. So just be a little, be more aware of that, and don't like today. I went to the store, and my mom was like, and I was bagging. I was doing the bagging while this cashier was taking us stuff and then she was just like she said to the cashier so you don't bag anymore i'm just like and i was just like mom don't say that to him and he was and um because like because i mean he was so first of all we didn't have a lot of stuff so i was doing all the bagging and second of all, it's just like the bags were over in the cart. They weren't near him, so he couldn't get there. And it's just like, I was just like, Mom, be a little nicer to him. Well, I didn't say that to her, but I was just like, Mom. And then, like, so I had to think, it was like, he was he was the only, I mean, there were other people at the cashier, but the, he just opened because he saw, like, everyone would in there were so many people in the, in all those line other lines that were open so we just opened up so i just i was we i just thanked him at the end because it's just like he's trying it's not it's not like they don't bag any obviously she knows that they don't bag anymore and obviously she knows that they it's stop and shop they bag but I just had the bags. I was doing the bagging because I wanted, to, I because he was, I I didn't want to bother him with other stuff, and it's just like she she knew what she was saying. And then I told her, I told her in the car, why you didn't really have to say that to him. And she was like, oh well, I didn't, I didn't. I was like, the bags were open in the car. He, the bags weren't near him anyway, so because we have canvas bags. 
And she's like, well, I didn't know. It's like you did know. You were, you just wanted to say that because there weren't, after she finished, he finished swiping all the, the barcodes on the thing, he, I, there was still stuff out on the counter that he didn't put in, that weren't in the bag yet. I, I was going to put in. So, it's just like, she does that a lot of the time. And it's like, I have to apologize because she does that. And I, I knew she was going to do that. <sighs> anyway, I'm talking. Again, a thousand times, the fruits of her hand, the story of Shira of Ashkenaz. It's a really good book. All right. So, bye.